Now before going forward with the common method, first we will see what do you mean by Dvandva. Suppose you have figure 257 and I want to find out the Dvandva of this figure. It is very simple. I will take two last digits or two corner digits and multiply by two. And to this number, I will simply add square of the middle number. So here I'll get 28 plus 25 that is 53. So 53 is a Dvandva of 257. Now suppose if you have larger number, the method is absolutely same. You have to take two corner numbers, double it to that. Just go on adding doubles of n numbers. So in this case, my first pair is 2 into 1 into 4 plus 2 into 5 into 6 plus 2 into 3 into 8. If you have one digit more as a central digit, so you have to add the square of that middle digit to find out the Dvandva. In this case, I got 116 as a Dvandva of 153864. We are going to use this Dvandva everywhere now. Let us take first example, that is 552049. The first step is, we will start from right side and we will make the pairs. Now in this case, my each pair has two digits. It is possible that you may get only one number as a last pair. I will write the first pair 55 and after that I will give one stroke and write the remaining digits by keeping some distance in between. Now pay attention carefully. I am giving a stroke just underneath. Now from this first pair, I have to subtract the highest square. Now 49 is a square of 7 which can be subtracted from 55. Now I will subtract 49 from 55. So my remainder is 6. So for the next calculation, I get figure 62. Now to my left hand side, I will just write the double of this 7 that is 14. Now this figure 14 I will use to divide any next number. Now my first number is 62. I will divide by 14. But in this case I will not directly divide 62 by 14. But I have to subtract something from this 62. And that is the Dvandva of figure which is next to my stroke. In this case, there is no figure. So Dvandva is 0. So I get 62 only. 62 divided by 14. I get 4. That is 56. So remainder is here 6. Now from this 60, I will subtract the Dvandva of 4. That is 4 square and I get 44. Now divide this 44 by 14. So I get 3. So again my remainder is 2. Now from this 24, I will subtract the Dvandva of 43. That is 2 into 4 into 3. My answer is 0. So I'll write 0 here. 0 upon 14 is 0 again. And similarly I get 0 on the first row. And this process can go on continuously. Now pay attention, I got three pairs. So, my answer will be first three figures. And here I get square root of 552049 as plus minus 743. This is very easy method in Vedic mathematics. Otherwise, you have to do large calculations to find out the square root of such large numbers. Now let us consider one more example. Square root of 20736. Let us make pairs. The first pair, second pair and in third pair only one digit. Now in this case, from the first pair 2, I can subtract 1 as a highest square. So towards my left, I will get 1 into 2, that is 2. Now here, 1 is the remainder, so my first figure for division is 10. Now mind well, the 10 minus 10, that is 2 into 5 equal to 0. 
and now from this 0 I get next figure 0 7 but as you can see from 0 7 I cannot subtract the dvandva of phi that is phi square so here in this case what I will do I will go one step down that is instead of making 2 into 5 I will make just 2 into 4 that is one step down so that the dvandva can be subtracted from the next figure so here I get 2 into 4 8 and remainder is 2 so my next figure is 27 now from this 27 I can subtract the dvandva of 4 that is 4 square so my answer here or my next figure here is 11 now again the same method I will make 2 into 4 8 my remainder is 3 now from 33 I will subtract the dvandva of 44 that is 2 into 4 into 4 so my next figure I get is 1 now here 2 into 0 0 remainder is 1 next figure is 16 from 16 I will subtract dvandva of 4 4 0 that is 4 square 16 I get 0 now 0 divided by 2 but as you can see we have only 3 pairs so our answer is already there in such cases we need not do the further calculations and we can stop our calculations here itself so my answer is 144.0 let us take one more example 732108 now from 73 I can subtract 8 square that is 64 and to the left hand side I will write 16 8 into 2 my first figure I get here the remainder is 9 so my first figure is 92 and I have to divide 92 by 16 my first division is of 5 so I get 92 minus 80 remainder is 12 now from this 121 I have to subtract the dvandva of 5 that is 25 so I get figure 96 as my next figure again 96 by 16 my division is again 5 you must have observed that I have come one step down so that next dvandva can be subtracted from the figure so here 160 minus dvandva of 55 that is 2 into 5 into 5 so here I get 110 to this 110 I will divide by 16 again division is 6 and I get remainder as 14 now from 148 I will subtract the dvandva of 556 that is 2 into 5 into 6 plus 5 square so here the answer is 63 now 63 divided by 16 the division is 3 I can extend this procedure to any number of digits by taking the zeros after 8 but as I have only 3 pairs my answer is 855 and after that all the figures comes after decimal point so my final answer is 855.63 so by this method you can find out the square root up to any decimal point let us consider the figure 97 and let us find out the square root of it now here I have only one pair so I am writing 0 let us take 4 zeros in this case now I can subtract 81 as 9 square so my remainder here is 16 and to left hand side I will write 9 into 2 18 so first figure for division I get is 160 
Now my first division will be 8. So I have to subtract 144. Again you might have seen that I have come one step down. Next figure again 160 but I have to subtract the Dvandva of 8. So my next figure for division is 96. Now 96 by 18. My division is 4. Remainder is 24. Again I have came one step down. So 240 minus Dvandva of 84. I get 176. Now 176 by 18. The division is 8. And my remainder is 32. Now from 320, I will subtract the Dvandva of 848 and I get 176. So my next figure is 176. Dividing by 18, I get 9. And I need not to do any further calculation as the calculation can go on. As I have only single pair, my answer is 9.8489. Now in this case, we have got the higher calculations. Let's do this example by some other method, slightly different method. Now I will subtract the perfect square of 10, that is 100. Now on the left hand side I get 20 and here I get minus 3. So my first figure to be divided is minus 30. So my quotient part here is minus 1 and remainder is minus 10. Now I got minus 100 plus 1 that is minus 99. I have subtracted the Dvandva of minus 1. So my next figure is minus 99 divided by 20. Now again my quotient is minus 5. So my remainder is minus 1. So now I got minus 10 and subtracting the Dvandva I get minus 20. The next figure is minus 20. So division is 1 minus 1. The division is minus 1. Remainder is 0. So next figure I get 0 minus the Dvandva of minus 151 that is minus 27. Again dividing by 20 the quotient is minus 1 and this calculations can go on up to any decimal digits. Now let us pay attention to answer. 10 on the left hand side minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 1. Now if you remember our previous method we have to eliminate this minus sign so minus 1 can be written minus 10, 9, again minus 10, 9, minus 10, 5 and minus 10, 9. Now I have to go on adding to the left. Now this minus 1 plus 10 is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, 5 minus 1 is 4, 9 minus 1 is 8 again and 9. So my answer is 9.84. 8, 9. Answer in both the cases is same. So, in the previous method, I had to do lot many difficult calculations like higher figures were there. But in second conditions, even though I got a negative sign, my calculations were very easy. Let us consider next example 246.8 square root. Now in this case I will start grouping from the left side of the decimal point. I will make just one group. Now from 246 I will subtract 15 square that is 225. My remainder is 21. And here on the left hand side I get 30. My first figure is 218. I have to divide by 30. So my first quotient is 7 and remainder is 8. So from 80 I will subtract Dvandva of 7 so I get 31. Again division is 1 
remainder is 1. So from 10, again I am subtracting dvandva of 7, 1, I get minus 4. So quotient is 0. Now I got minus 40 here. Subtracting dvandva, I get next figure as minus 41. Again, quotient part is minus 1. This calculation can go on. Let's see the answer. 15 and 7, 1, 0, minus 1. Of course, my decimal point will come after 15. I have to eliminate this minus 1 now. 7, 0, 9, 9. So, my answer is 15.7099. So we can find out even the square roots of decimal points. Now in this case I had taken 246 as a single group but you can divide this group into two parts that is 46 and 2. The answer will be same.